hello guys welcome back to the rajbhar tech block again and this is rajbhar so hope you all are doing great in your life and uh, today i'm going to tell you how do we create s3 bucket so currently i am on the aws console so <clears throat> we have this recently visited resources either you can click on this s3 or you may just type in s3 here and click on it all right so as of now we don't have any bucket here on this console so i will just click on this create bucket give it a name my bucket and you have to select the region so i will just go with this north virginia us east one and uh, this copy setting from existing bucket you can select this option if you have any existing bucket with the same settings as required so the policies and other uh, settings will mirror from that existing bucket to the new bucket but we don't have anyone so uh, we will just leave it now object ownership by default the acls are disabled and this is recommended as well because we manage the permissions through the policies aws policy so we will just go with the acl disabled option okay now block public access setting for this bucket so by default all the public access is blocked for the s3 bucket but you can enable this if it is required to if you want to connect to your s3 bucket uh, publicly you can do that as well uh, all you will have to do this uncheck this option and uh, then after this you will have to apply one small policy in s3 so that this will be available publicly so we will go with the public access because we don't have any direct connectivity uh, from uh, this <clears throat> from my PC to the AWS so we will connect over the internet so I'm just allowing this s3 bucket to be publicly available I acknowledge that the current setting my real name again with public and bucket versioning so bucket versioning is required if you want to just restore any previous version of any file folder so you can restore them to previous uh, stage when it was available so if you want to you can keep it enable or you can disable it keeping it enable will cost you extra so as of now i will not go with this default encryption so by default it is uh, amazon s3 managed key which is currently encrypted with i mean going to encrypt with but we can change it with the customer managed key all we will have to do is select this option or uh, and create a kms key or if you have any existing kms key which you want to encrypt with you can just put the arn of that kms key here and it will be applied okay bucket key will remain enabled and if i go to advanced settings there is only one option object lock if you enable this permanently allows object in this bucket to be logged additional object lock conversion required to bucket real after bucket creation to project being deleted or overwritten so if you will just enable the setting that object will not be overwrite or cannot be deleted so i will just go with this disable option for now okay so we are done with everything here just click on create bucket okay but must be globally unique and must not contain okay maybe someone is using this yes so this name is not being used uh click on create bucket okay we will go with the default one click on create bucket <clears throat> so the bucket has been created okay and uh, if you look into it there is nothing as of now but we have options to upload the files and the folder from here you can add files to it you can add folders to it from your machine now you can drag and drop or you can just upload it from there 
now uh, let's go to the permissions okay so this is the bucket policy just click on edit we want to make it public so i'm going to generate a policy here <clears throat> for this s3 so we'll click on allow and the principle we will select is a wildcard so that all the users of the resources will be able to access it aws service is obviously s3 then select object we will just give it get object permission here it is so get object permission and uh, you can specify the ar and as well so the arn of our bucket is here this is the arn let's click on it just put the arn add statement okay so generate policy so this is the policy which is generated you can uh, generate the policy using this tool which is easy and uh, create the required permission so we will just put it here star now it's saved okay now if you will look into it here the access is now public so our pub, the bucket is publicly accessible this is the way we can create any bucket and make it public whenever required and uh, hope my video is going to help you if you come across some requirement and thank you so much for watching we'll see you in next video take care bye